Hi guys, my name is Emily and I'm going to be your Python instructor for today. So in the last video, Jason left you guys off with downloading Python and PyCharm to your own computers. So if you haven't done that already, make sure you go watch that video first. So today we're going to be learning about print statements and how we print out messages to the screen. So to print the screen, there is only one command, which is print followed by a pair of parentheses. So inside the parentheses is where you write what you want to print to the console. And I'll get to what the console means in just a bit. Um, you must put your statement in quotes inside the parentheses, and you can use either double quotes or single quotes. If you have no apostrophes in your message, um, you will use single quotes. So for example, if I wanted to print the word hi, there are no apostrophes in that word, so I'm going to surround it with single quotes. However, if you have a statement with apostrophes, um, for example, it's, there is an apostrophe right here, we're going to surround uh, our message with double quotes. Um, however, you cannot use both a single and a double quote. So for example, uh, we cannot do double quotes, hi, single quote. You have to use either double quotes or single quotes. So let's see what the print command looks like. So let's say I wanted to print the phrase, hello world, shown right here. So I'm gonna hop over to the PyCharm IDE. Um, so I'm gonna quickly go over how we uh, make a new Python file. So we're going to find our project that we made and we're going to right click it and click new Python file. And then you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name this printing. Now we have a new Python file. So we wanted to print hello world. Hello world does not have any apostrophes in it. So we're going to use single quotes. So first I'm going to start with writing the print command. So print parentheses and notice how PyCharm um, automatically completes this ending parentheses. It makes our lives a lot easier. So we're going to use single quotes and then in between the two quotes, we're going to write our message. So hello world. Oh. And let's run that and see what happens. You can click the green um, run button up here or you can right click and there should be an option to run. So what pops up on the bottom here is our console, which is um, the place where all our messages um, are displayed. So if we look inside the console, we can see that hello world was printed out. Let's say I wanted to um, print out the phrase, hi, I'm Emily. Um, so we're going to write another print command and um, let's think. So. Hi, I'm Emily has an apostrophe right here in the word I'm. So we're going to surround the entire message with double quotes. So, hi, I'm Emily. I'm gonna print that and see what happens. And hi, I'm Emily shows up right here. So notice how after hello world, it jumped to a new line to print hi, I'm Emily. And that's because we used a new print statement. So every time we um, write another print statement, it automatically jumps to the next line. Another thing to note here is, um, notice how there is this uh, blank line right here of just white space in our code, but then when we run it, there is no white space in between. That's because our code does not care about white space. So I could put like 100 lines of white line, of white, uh, white space in between these two print statements and the same exact thing would print out. So if I ran it, the same thing prints out. So let's say I wanted to print out this phrase right here, which is double quote, what's up, double quote, with the quotes. Um, so let's write another print command. Let's try using single quotes and see what happens. So single quote, and then our message, which is double quote, what's up, double quote, and then I'm gonna surround it with single quotes. So our message is right here, 
and it's surrounded by single quotes. So then a red uh, underline pops up, which means that there is an error in our code. Um, let's see why. So we used a single quote, but then there was an apostrophe in our statement. So Python thinks that this apostrophe is our ending quote. So everything after it over here is not inside the quotes. So let's try using double quotes to surround our message. So this, so our message is here and it's surrounded by two double quotes, but there's still an error. So let's see why. Um, we use the double quote, but then we have another double quote here. So Python thinks that this, that this quote is our starting quote and this is our ending quote. So everything here, everything after here is not inside the quotes. So what can we do if we can't use single quotes or double quotes? Well, there's a special key we can use. So first we're going to surround our message with single quotes. So the message is right inside of here and it's surrounded by single quotes. And right before the apostrophe in our message, we're going to use a backslash, which is right ab above the enter or return key. So it looks like that. And our red line goes away. So let's try printing it and see what happens. And it prints out exactly the way I wanted it to. So next we're going to go into commenting. So not everything in your code has to be actual code. You can also have comments, which are English statements that are not recognized as code and do not run. So to comment, we're going to type a number sign followed by a space and then our message or comment. Um, so let's see what this looks like in PyCharm. Sorry. Um, let's say I wanted to print, I wanted to comment these three lines of code. And um, so I'm going to uh, write a number sign followed by a space. And I'm going to write, these are some print statements. And let's run that and see what happens. The same thing prints out as if I did not have this comment here. This comment is not code. So why do we use comments? Well, this is helpful to document your code, especially when it becomes more complex and confusing. And explaining it in comments is necessary so that you know what you're doing later on when you look back at your projects and that other people who are reading your code Know, that, know what you are doing. So that takes us to our printing and commenting exercises. So you're going to use the print command that we learned today and you're going to print at least seven statements about yourself, um, just like I have here. And then after you finish that, you're going to put a comment on the first line so at the very beginning of your code, and you're going to tell us what your code does using a comment. So that's it for today, and I'll see you guys next time.